Sunday School, October 2nd, 2022. This week, faith versus the world, the flesh, and the devil. We'll be referring to scripture from the book of James, chapter 4. So James asked the question in chapter 4, Where do wars and fightings amongst you come from? Well, they come from inside of you, from warring within your own members, from your own lust. There's an old Dudley Moore movie came out in the 80s where he's walking through the desert and uh, he comes across the devil sitting on a rock. And he gets scared and he starts yelling, Get away from me, Satan. And he keeps on like that for a while and the devil's just sitting there looking at him. Eventually, the devil says, look, mister, people do what they choose to do. Now, the devil definitely does try to influence us. He and his demons give us a hard time trying to tempt us or discourage us, trying to get us to follow a sinful way. But essentially, it is up to an individual. Remember in Genesis, the serpent tempted and beguiled Eve. She and Adam disobeyed God. And a few chapters later, Cain kills Abel. The serpent or no other manifestation of the devil ever spoke to him. In fact, it was God who talked to Cain before and after he committed the murder. He told Cain that it was his own anger, his own jealousy, that caused him that trouble. So while we definitely have to fight the devil and his demons, another enemy we have to overcome is ourselves, overcoming our own sinful nature. James says you lust for things you do not have. You kill. You desire to have the things you cannot obtain. You fight. You go to war. And yet you do not have. In the middle of this discussion, James brings out another concept. You have not because you ask not. Or you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss. That means the wrong things or the wrong motives. You ask for things that you may consume. Things to satisfy your own lust. So the first thing we should be asking God for is forgiveness and mercy, and then wisdom. Then, be careful in our prayers not to always be asking for things that we want just because we want them. Things entirely for selfish reasons. Instead, we should ask for things that will help us to serve God better, or to somehow be a benefit to others. The modern translations then say, you adulterous people. King James is something like, you adulterers. Don't you know that friendship with the world is enmity against God? So they may or may not have been actually committing the act of adultery, but they did have their heart and their love directed toward worldly things and not toward God in essence, cheating on God. So we battle our own thoughts, our own desires. We have to overcome ourselves. But then there's also the pressure of being like the rest of